Hello everyone, and welcome to our video where we will be diving into the fascinating world of central processing units, commonly known as CPUs. Today, we are going to explore what the CPU is, why it is vital for a computer, and how it carries out various tasks. In this comprehensive overview, we will cover various aspects of the CPU, including its architecture, components, types, functions, and historical development. So, let's begin our journey of understanding the central processing unit. Have you ever wondered how a computer takes your commands and performs tasks within seconds? Well, it's all thanks to the central processing unit, or CPU for short. The CPU is often referred to as the brain of the computer, responsible for executing instructions and performing calculations that drive numerous computer activities. So, what exactly is the central processing unit, and what does it do? Think of it as the command center of your computer. It coordinates and manages all the operations that take place within the system. From running applications to browsing the internet, the CPU is at the heart of it all. CPU Architecture At its core, the CPU architecture consists of different components. The control unit, the arithmetic logic unit, ALU, the registers, cache, bus interface unit, BIU, and execution units. Control unit, CU The control unit manages the operation of the CPU by decoding instructions, fetching data from memory, and then directs the ALU to execute the tasks. Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU. The ALU is responsible for performing arithmetic and logical operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and OR, and NOT operations. Registers. Registers are small, high-speed storage units within the CPU that temporarily hold data, instructions, and addresses. Some common types of registers include the program counter, PC, instruction register, IR, and general purpose registers, e.g., EAX, EBX, etc. Cache. CPUs typically have multiple levels of cache memory, L1, L2, and sometimes L3, that store frequently used data and instructions to reduce memory latency and improve performance. Bus Interface Unit, BIU. The BIU manages data transfer between the CPU and other components, such as RAM and peripheral devices, through data buses. Execution Unit The execution unit performs the actual execution of instructions, including arithmetic and logical operations. CPU Functions To understand how the CPU functions, we need to know a bit about the instruction cycle. The CPU follows a series of steps known as the fetch-decode-execute cycle. First, it fetches an instruction from the memory, then decodes it to understand what action needs to be performed, and finally, it executes the instruction by performing the necessary operations. Inside the CPU, billions of tiny transistors work together to process and carry out instructions at lightning speed. These transistors are built using semiconductor materials, enabling them to switch between on and off states, representing the binary language that computers understand. Now that we've covered the basics of how a CPU operates, let's explore some of its essential functions. The CPU performs various tasks, ranging from basic arithmetic calculations to sophisticated data manipulations. It controls the flow of data between different parts of the computer, ensuring everything runs smoothly and efficiently. The CPU performs several key functions. Instruction Execution The CPU fetches instructions from memory, decodes them, and executes them sequentially. These instructions can include data manipulation, control flow, and input-output operations. Arithmetic and Logic Operations The ALU performs various arithmetic, addition, subtraction, etc., and logical, and, OR, not, etc. operations as specified by the instructions. Data Storage Registers within the CPU temporarily store data and addresses needed for processing. Control of Input and Output Devices The CPU also manages the computer's input and output devices, such as the keyboard, mouse, and monitor. It handles incoming and outgoing data, 
making it possible for you to interact with your computer and receive feedback. Types of CPU General Purpose CPUs The general purpose CPUs are designed to handle a wide range of tasks and are commonly found in personal computers, servers, and workstations. Microcontrollers these CPUs are embedded in various electronic devices, such as microwave ovens, washing machines, and automobiles, to control specific functions. Application-Specific Integrated Circuits ASICs. These CPUs are custom-designed for specialized tasks and are often found in industries like telecommunications and aerospace. CPU Performance CPU performance is measured by factors such as clock speed, measured in gigahertz, GHZ, the number of cores, and the presence of advanced features like hyperthreading. More powerful CPUs can handle more instructions per second and perform tasks more efficiently. Historical Development CPUs have evolved significantly over time. Major milestones include First CPUs the first CPUs were single-core, clocked at very low speeds, and mainly used in early mainframe computers. Microprocessors The introduction of microprocessors in the 1970s brought computing power to smaller devices and led to the development of personal computers. Multi-core CPUs CPUs with multiple cores became common in the 2000s, allowing computers to perform parallel processing and handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Advanced Architectures Modern CPUs feature advanced architectures, including pipelining, out-of-order execution, and speculative execution, to maximize performance. Power Efficiency Recent CPUs focus on power efficiency, enabling longer battery life in laptops and reduced energy consumption in data centers. As technology advances, CPUs continue to become more powerful, allowing for faster computations and improved performance. Manufacturers introduce new generations of CPUs, each one surpassing its predecessor in terms of speed, efficiency, and capabilities. Whether you're playing the latest video games, editing videos, or conducting complex simulations, the CPU is the key player ensuring it all happens seamlessly. It is an integral part of any computer system, from personal laptops to supercomputers. And that's a wrap on our exploration of the central processing unit. We've learned what CPU stands for, how it functions, and why it is fundamental for computers. Next time you use your computer, remember the incredible work happening behind the scenes by the CPU. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of CPUs and their significance in the world of computing. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech content. Until next time, keep exploring and expanding your knowledge.